Hello, this is Anita Bean with BeanDesigns.com. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make to help you make a scrapbook page using PaintShop Pro. This here is our sample, our finished product. In this video, we're going to do the background papers. Our first step will be to open a new image. Go to File, New, or Control n on your keyboard. You choose your width and your height. I'm going to choose 11 inches wide by 8 inches tall. I'm going to use inches. You could use pixels, but I use inches. My resolution is going to be 300 pixels per inch for a high quality print. And I'm going to have a transparent background. Push OK. Now, let's pull in some papers. Go to my file that has my papers in it. I'm going to pull the blue paper, drop it into the PaintShop Pro program. I'm going to click on my red paper with the sand buckets. Left click it, drag it over on top of the program. I'm going to choose a ribbon also. I'm going to click on my ribbon, drop it. So now we're in our PaintShop Pro program. I'm going to select our image and then we will pull in our papers. So I select the paper, left click, drag it on top of our image and wait for the icon to change and drop it in. Once it's there, we can close the original image. We'll do the same thing with our red sand bu bucket paper and our flip-flop ribbon. Now, I want our ribbon to have a tad bit of a wave. So I select that layer. We're going to go to the top tabs and choose Effects, Distortion Effects, and Wave. I have my settings. There's Horizontal Displacement and Vertical Displacement. On Horizontal, I have it at 0 on Amplitude, 1 Wavelength and my vertical is 1 amplitude and 58 wavelength with a transparent edge mode. I'm going to choose OK because I'm very happy with that. I want to distort this a tad bit, so I'm going to push the D key for the distort tool or you could choose it from your toolbar on the left. I'm going to grab this little handle Give it a little bit of an angle. Grab hold of the center and pull it down just a tad bit. That's where I want it to be. Now we want to use our freehand select tool. So we'll go to the left toolbar, choose our freehand selection. We want to make sure it's set on freehand and we don't have any zero on the feather. So I click here in the middle, right here in the middle of the ribbon and just draw a line along the middle of the ribbon, up the side, across the top. Basically we're just going to do a cutout. Now we want to highlight our red paper and you can see our marching ants of where it's going to disappear. We'll push delete. It's going to cut out what we selected on the paper. We want to select none. Go to the selections tab bar and select none. Where you can see that I have customized my tools and put mine easily accessible. Let's highlight the ribbon layer and 
let's give that a shadow. So you could go to Effects, Shadows, or I have my tool right there on the top. I'm going to give it <clears throat> a 3 vertical and a 3 horizontal, 50% op opacity, and a 30 blur. Push OK. And our ribbon has a three-dimensional effect. So we've done the steps of pulling in our papers and getting them set up exactly like we want for the background of our page. Let's save that. So we'll push F12 for Save As. And we will put that into um, a folder. And we'll say, give it a file name, uh, PSP video, and we'll save it. We're saving it as a PSP image. That means that all the layers will stay intact so that we can modify them later. Our video 2 will talk about pulling in our pictures making them the sizes we want them to be, and putting on our photo palms. This is Anita Bean with BeanDesigns.com.